Hey guys, it's me, Will Patterson from Break Designs here again, and here's a new tutorial on Adobe Illustrator. Now you can see in front of me, I've got this uh, document up, and this is actually a document uh, I've been working on with a client as a t-shirt design, not for myself, for my t-shirts, just for uh, a different client. But I wanted to show you how I got this uh, text effect here, or how I uh, made the dripping effect uh, on this part in Justice. And there's a few ways uh, well, there's a variation to the how I've done it here that you can do and it's sort of easy uh, It takes a bit of practice, but we'll give it a bash. So I'm going to go and create a new document um, Let's just make it 500 by 500 for now because it doesn't really matter and I'm just gonna uh, say drip I'm just gonna write that down and I'm gonna scale this up and this is just to show you uh, What I'm doing so make sure you have your text ready uh, like this and I'm gonna choose uh, a font called Langdon I'm going to make sure that this, you know, it, it's fully in the center of it all, like so. Um, I'm going to change my uh, blacks as well, because the black on this isn't uh, a rich black. It's sort of a really dark gray, and you, I, can, I can tell um, while looking at it. So there we go. There, there is our text. Now what we need to do with this is I'm going to make it editable to make it easier for us. We don't actually have to do that, but actually, no, we won't. Don't make it editable. Right, what we'll do is create a new layer and we'll go ahead and lock uh, this layer. And I'm going to call this the uh, text. But there's no point in not outlining it. But this, I think this way is just a bit safer for us all. Uh, and then we're just going to call this layer the new one drips. And I'm just going to change the uh, color of this by clicking to probably a nice grass green so I can see. This one here, I want to just to make sure it's in the center of everything. Yeah, it is. Lock it again so we can't touch it. Make sure you're on the drips layer. Now press P and you'll get your pen tool out. I'm going to go and zoom in by pressing Command and Plus so we can get right in on here. Now, if we want to create this sort of dripping effect like in here, uh, we need to use the pen tool. Uh, the pen tool is a, a really good tool for us to use for this sort of effect. And it's the only sort of reason why I use it a lot and I this is the only thing I do it with freehand if you know what I mean so I only use a pen tool uh, in freehand for this specific reason at the moment so what I'm going to do is at first I'm just going to go and create um, a little point here and I'm going to bring it maybe zoom out a little bit and I'm going to bring it down here like so and I'm going to just bend it in and then I'm going to leave the bend there and go to the side of it bend it up this way a bit so we have these two anchor points here, so we've got one, two, three. Then up here, I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to bend it right in like so. And we have this sort of effect. Now, it's still a shape uh, that we've created, so we can move it around and all that. So we've created the first drip. We can go and create another one. It's good to have a good practice with it, so you know the, the formations of uh, drips like this. So you can go and do it quickly. But make sure you have a, a very wide variation of drips that you're using and uh, you'll see what happens at the end. So w when we do this, we're only going for the bottom sort of drips um, because, hang on, that, I don't like that one. Let's get rid of it. Let's uh, make another one. We'll put it to about here. Now I'll put it to up here. Maybe up here. I don't know. Put it by here, and then you can sort of see if we just keep it simple, like so, that you have sort of a dripping effect going on here. There's a few things we can do with this. I'm going to carry on doing it whilst I talk and that, but there's a few things we can do uh, with stuff like this. So that you can either copy the shapes over, like the original drips over, uh, and then um, sort of scale them up. So I could copy that over here, scale up that way a bit. And it would look all right uh, like so and I'm gonna just keep it off like so um, because I don't like it then another thing we can do is you can create a cool effect here which is to use a pencil again just click here then click here and bend inwards and then don't press alt or anything but just go hover over this little anchor point here to get rid of the handle to give us a straight uh, thing so we don't bend the because um, here I'll actually show you this um, this anchor point here, if I was to go here, press here with a pen tool, you'll see it would circleize, it would make it into a circle. Um, if I wanted to get rid of that, then we just have to press here on that bit there to get rid of that. 
I'm just going to press here and then you get a straight line from that anchor point no matter where you've bent from and again here we can uh, go up here and do it like so take that off and then just connect this up as a whole shape like that and what this looks like is like it's sort of coming off on the angle it sort of looks like it's separating um, on there like so which is pretty cool so we have that um, another thing we can do is we can create a drip and now we don't want to just see them dripping off one actually drips coming off so the best way to do it is just to you know press one there sorry let's get rid of that so press an anchor point hold shift and press another one let go shift and then just bring it to the left ever so slightly and then you've got a half a drop right there so all you need to do now is highlight it right click and go to transform reflect and then I choose vertical and then choose preview and then yes it's fine copy it over and then just drag it across here and I'm going to zoom in to make sure we've got the perfect transformation let's have a look if you can get it further in it would be easy if we did it larger, but whatever. I'm not I'm not out for perfection. And then uh, we can just bring them together like so. It's not the best drip, but it will do. Um, if you spend more time in it, you'll get a better drip, but there you go. And then we have a drip here. We can scale this and then copy it by holding Alt and then copying it around and scaling it ever so slightly up and down in, in the drip value. The next thing is we want to create this sort of uh, look here. Now if up here you can see it looks really rugged and stuff. And there's a few ways you can do this. But the way that I'm going to do it is uh, using the pen tool again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, go in. And I'm not going to create a new layer. I'm just going to go start here. And then I'm going to make it sort of swirly. I'm going to create waves in it. Um, something that's noticeable. So it gives it the imperfect look at the bottom. And then we can start adding more in because you can see, oh wow, we need to add, you know, maybe another drip here or something. And I'm going to create this very straight drip actually, like so. And we've got that, a very straight drip. And then we can just go ahead with all of these and then put them like so and whatever. The interesting bit about these ones here is that we'll have to uh, create the dripping effect here as well. So if, if I was here, I could do a dripping effect here. So I can create a drip just down here very quickly. Um, move that up. And then I'm going to create dripping effects up here as well because it's, uh, it's sort of hanging off. If you imagine it like an actual thing just hanging off, create the dripping effect there as well. Maybe a long drip here. Give it some differences and stuff. Uh, and then again, we can go ahead and with this, we can create that thing we were talking about beforehand, which makes it be look a bit more wet and uh, rugged and stuff like so. And you get the picture, it sort of gives it that imperfect look like it's sort of coming off uh, of the uh, design. And then, yeah, we have that. Again, you can add more of these sort of drops and stuff to it if you want to give that look as in it's not just there it's sort of dripping off and the more you add to it the better um, I would keep it so that you, you understand the laws of physics so as in I would keep all the drips uh, on something that could fall off so if you imagine the P is actually uh, if I zoom in here the P is actually held up there anything that drips off it will be here and here uh, and a bit here but you won't be able to see it there um, and basically yeah the next thing you want to do is we could add a rugged effect to the text so I'm going to go ahead and outline it by pressing command shift and O outlining basically turns it into a non editable text so it turns it into a shape layer and then I'm just going to go ahead and yeah it's fine it's all grouped we can ungroup that later but I'm going to go to effect distort and transform and then roughen I'm going to preview that I'm going to turn off re uh, uh, relative to absolute and the detail we don't want much detail. Um, but we do want a 
you could have a bit more detail actually like so and then we can expand that so just playing around with it and then expanding it giving it this cool effect um, on any sort of text layer as well and once you've expanded it you can just do whatever you want and uh, it will save you from having to sort of do those other path bits that I was showing you beforehand like these bits here but I've locked them the next thing we want to do is we want to go and create some reflections now the best way to do this is with the pencil again so I'm going to go up here create a new layer we call this a uh, highlight you give it a realistic look now I know this has gone all funky and stuff but I'll choose on this one here I'm going to choose a pen tool and I'm going to press shift of X and what that does is it changes the uh, the uh, swatch fill to the swatch stroke uh, so then we only have a stroke and I'm going to choose a white stroke like so and a book cap or a round cap whatever you want to call it ending and I'm just going to go and zoom in right to here and I'm going to press here and then I'm going to press here bring it out and then you see we've got that there and then we can literally see that there's a highlight there the way to make it a bit more prominent and stuff is to use whip tool which is shift and w where we can go ahead and change the width of that end to make it look like it's a proper you know reflection that it's reflecting and uh, it's circular because it's changing the width of everything and there you can see it looks okay but we need to change the um we need to change this quite a bit we need to highlight that anchor point using the arrow keys bring it in this one down here bring it down a bit again this one bring it down to give it a more precise look and if we did this for the whole of these and then uh, go to width tool go and make that to zero zoom in and then uh, changing the anchor point all these we can start to see that it sort of shines like a reflection if you spent more time on it uh, the problem with this one here is that we need to change this to a lower 0.5 and then change this again to give it that proper look of a reflection and if you carry on doing that you can create some really cool reflections throughout the whole uh, dripping experience there so what else is there to do nothing really uh, that's basically it with the dripping um, I'll probably do a project on these dripping sort of text things that we're doing to make it easier for you guys to understand everything that I'm doing with uh, the design things I'm also doing a video about uh, a day in the life of me of what I do at home and work and stuff sorry for the clothes on my bed uh, inevitable if you work in a room and uh, yeah thanks for watching uh it's really really good i'm a bit funny today uh, i've been doing different work and i've been doing different things that i don't normally do so yeah it's been a bit of a cool day but i wanted to give you this video for you because you guys are awesome thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you next time uh make sure you subscribe to the channel a new video intro will be happening soon so stay tuned for that so thank you very much goodbye